How's it going everyone? Cinder here with a ranking video that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Thomas the Tank Engine, and the original railway series that it is based on, are famous for many things. Beautiful artwork, phenomenal music, etc. But one of the most noteworthy aspects of these wonderful stories are the morals and lessons that we learn over the course of the series. Reverend Wilbur Audrey, the original author of the railway series, did not want to talk down to kids, and instead wanted the morals of his stories to be worked in subtly. And as a result, the TV show did the same thing. So today, I'm going to present you all with a list of what I think are the most grown up and mature episodes within the show. Naturally, most of the episodes in this video will be from the classic series. With one exception. Also, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to present the episodes in the order they aired in. If you like this video and want to see more like it, then be sure to like, subscribe, and ring Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get started. Before we discuss the main list, let's talk about some quick honourable mentions. Hector the Horrid One of the strongest episodes from the hit era, that provides an interesting insight into why some bullies do what they do, as well as the potential consequences of standing up to them physically. The main reason it's not on the list is because another episode showed us a more effective way of standing up to bullies. Stay tuned. The Sad Story of Henry This one didn't make its way onto the list simply because it is more sad than it is mature, but it does nicely show the audience the potential consequences of being selfish. Episodes like Edward and Gordon, Old Iron, Edward's Exploit and Edward the Really Useful Engine teach us to respect and not underestimate our elders. Henry's Hero is an episode with two protagonists that have conflicting ideals, yet they are also both right in their own way. It is important to not give up so easily, but you should always be cautious of your health. There are many more that I could talk about, but I think it's time we got into the actual list. So, here we go. Off the Rails This one has a similar moral to the sad story of Henry, but I'm putting this one on the main list because it stands out to me more. As a kid, this episode, along with Down the Mine, always eluded me, and so it was years before I managed to actually see them. This story comes from that fantastic Gordon the Big Engine book, where Gordon receives some of his best character moments in the entire series. Every story in that book, and subsequently the TV series, depict events that humble him. And this one does it to the highest level in my opinion. We all know the story. Gordon refuses to pull a good strain, and in a futile attempt to jam the turntable, runs himself into a ditch. He subsequently gets left there all day as his initial punishment, which gives him time to consider his actions before he is rescued that evening. When he returns home, we see that he has learned his lesson. Much like the sad story of Henry, the story and its consequences even carry over into the following episode, where we see that Gordon has been removed from express duties and has been demoted to goods work. The episode is also really funny, with some savage roasting from both Gordon and Henry. Beep, 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 beep. Hello, fat face. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Mind you, keep on the rails today. Gordon has many episodes where he has to learn to either not be so selfish or full of himself. And this episode is the most successful in achieving that, in my opinion. Duck Takes Charge This is the episode that beats out Hector the Horrid for me. Plot-wise, Percy is getting pushed around and mocked by the bigger engines. But when the Fat Controller brings in a new station pilot engine, this newcomer quickly teaches Percy how to stand up for himself. That new engine is of course Duck. Duck is one of my favourite characters in the whole series. I've said before that I consider Duck to be the poster child for anti-bullying, considering how many characters he stood up for against bullies, which even includes Diesel at the start of Dirty Work. As someone who was bullied throughout most of my later school years, Duck is a character that really resonates with me, and one that I really connect with. Unlike Hector the Horrid, this episode shows a more appropriate way of dealing with bullies, while providing a solid insight into Duck's character, while also providing Percy with some exceptional growth. Dirty Work This one is rather dark. After Diesel's hubris comes back to bite him in the ass in the episode prior, he keeps getting constantly harassed by the trucks and subsequently blames Duck. In an effort to get revenge, he spreads lies about the Great Western Engine, which leads to him being sent away. 
The message is much more subtle in this one I feel, as it's part of what is an effective trilogy. It shows the audience to be careful of new faces or people that you don't know that well, because for all you know, they could be no good. I actually like this little group of episodes more in the TV series as opposed to the original book. Domus Engines kickstarts a level of big headedness in Duck, which then leads to him playing a trick on Diesel on his first day. Because Domus Engines wasn't adapted until the next season, Duck doesn't come across so much as big headed, rather just a little too proud of his heritage. As a result, the quote, trick, comes across as more of a way of him saying, put your money where your mouth is, and then Dirty Work shows us the consequences of both their actions. Diesel's hubris leads to him being made a fool of, and Duck's method of dealing with Diesel leads to his friends turning on him. Whether you read the book or watch the episodes, the Duck and Diesel arc is very heavy, and provides some rather dark and hefty insight into how some people's minds work. The Deputation can anyone name another kid's show where the word deputation is even mentioned? Please let me know because I will be rather impressed. This one is exceptional because it shows the audience of how it can be important to stand up to authority figures. Plot wise, the engines all band together and try to think of a way to convince the fat controller to let both Donald and Douglas stay on Sodor. When Edward suggests using a deputation, Percy is elected to talk to Sir Topham Hat in an effort to convince him to allow the twins to stay. It's a simple message that shows the importance of taking a stand against authority figures when an important message needs to be delivered. All at sea. I've grown to really appreciate this episode over the year thanks to both the Unlucky Tug and Usual Blokes Luke's videos where they talk in depth about it. Duck and Percy enjoy working at the harbour, but one day Duck longs to go beyond the horizon and becomes almost obsessed with it, which even starts to annoy Percy, who even tries to make Duck see sense. Well, Duck, I'd rather have my wheels on solid ground. Our rails can take us to all the places we could ever wish to see. After helping someone in need and receiving praise from Bertie, Duck realizes his strengths as a steam engine. At the end of the episode, we're shown that Duck still dreams of what lies beyond the horizon, but he has learned to appreciate what he has, where he is irreplaceable friends and a wonderful home. All at Sea is an episode that has aged beautifully, from stunning visuals and remarkable music to a cleverly interweaved moral, it is one of season 3's best. Bulldog Another episode that has gained notoriety in the recent past, this is one of the four beautiful mid or railway episodes. Falcon is new to the railway, and upon learning a new route, he derails and nearly falls down a mountain to his death. Luckily, Duke is there with him and manages to save him. This episode has a lot of hidden messages within itself. First off, we've seen in previous episodes, as well as at the start of this one, that Duke acts as a father figure to both Falcon and Stuart. He may be old and stern, but he cares deeply about both of them and will not hesitate to put himself at risk or in harm's way to protect the younger engines. You could say that it teaches the responsibilities of parenthood. Another aspect of the story is to not underestimate someone because of their age, as Falcon dismisses Duke as an old fusspot, but later comes to realise that Duke does indeed know best. His gratitude at the end of the episode really does feel genuine, and it really does seem like Falcon learned his lesson a stellar episode with some wonderfully interweaved lessons. Bulldog is a must watch for anyone who enjoys season 4. Thomas and the Rumours I think this episode has the most clear moral out of everyone on this list. Thomas wants to figure out a way to help some school children reopen their playground, but this keeps getting pushed back by the engines thinking that the fat controller is going to replace them with Harold. They all start jumping to conclusions, which of course backfires when Gordon has an accident. Turns out that the special visitor that Harold was transporting was there to help find a new playground for the children. The moral of the story is of course outright stated by the Fat Controller. Well the engines are wrong and you shouldn't listen to rumours Thomas. Rumours after all are just that, and you should never believe them without actual evidence, which is something that this episode manages to tell the audience, while also showing that believing in said rumours can come back to bite you in the bunker. Make someone happy. This one has really grown on me in the past year or so. 
James keeps complaining about being given jobs he doesn't like, while only ever thinking about himself. This annoys Thomas, and he tries telling James to put others first for once. James, why don't you think about something or someone else for a change? You'll be surprised at how much better you'll feel if you do. James of course dismisses this at first, but when he sees Mrs. Kindly upset about not being able to see her sister, he begins to feel sorry for her. He eventually joins in helping cheer her up by giving her a special ride to the fairground, a subplot that the episode establishes earlier. At the end of the episode, James admits that Thomas was right, and feels much better for both himself and Mrs. Kindly as a result. You were quite right, Thomas, James whispered. Making someone happy does cheer you up. I love this episode for many reasons. First, it's one of those stories that shows us how Thomas has grown up over the classic series. Second, I love how it uses Mrs. Kindly as the catalyst for James's morality lesson. She hasn't been seen since season one, after all. And finally, I love how instead of saying sorry for being an asshole, James simply admits how he was wrong and that Thomas was right. While it is important to take care of number one, or number five in James' case, putting someone else first and making them happy can really make you feel better. The episode doesn't have any spectacular action scenes or anything intense, but it does make excellent use of two of the show's most hot-headed characters, and provides both of them with excellent character development in very similar, yet different ways. Twin Trouble In my opinion, this episode does for Donald and Douglas what one good turn tried to do for Bill and Ben. Basic plot, the twins get into an accident and start blaming each other for it. They get so cross that they go their separate ways for a while, only for it to come to a boiling point where Donald gets into another accident and Douglas has to come to his rescue. This of course results in the twins making up and becoming friends again. The reason I prefer this over One Good Turn is simple. We get to see just how bad the consequences of the twins' fallout are. We get to see that the twins work best together, as things quickly go wrong when Donald tries working with Duck. We get to see that being separated from his brother makes Douglas miserable. And of course, we see what happens when this sort of resentment towards each other goes too far. This episode would have made for a great two-parter. Like imagine after Donald scoffs at Douglas' visit, that we see Douglas sadly going to sleep in his shed, only for the episode to end there and pick up in the next one. I also like that Doug is the character who brings the twins back together. Although not seen on screen, he was the first engine that the twins met when they first came to the island, so it's good to see that he still has that connection with them. No matter how badly you fall out with your family, they are still family after all, and you should always try to make up before it's too late. Twin Trouble manages to tell its audience this, while also showing the potential consequences of what might happen if you let your anger get the better of you. Respect for Gordon I am not the biggest fan of the hit era, but even for those of us who don't like this period of the show, most of us tend to agree that this episode is one of, if not the best one from this point in the show's life. We all know the story by this point. The engines give Gordon grief over his clanking firebox, and in turn, Gordon becomes a massive dick by demanding that they all start respecting him more. This backfires, and Gordon's obsession with being respected results in him having a pretty bad accident, which subsequently sees him laid up at the works. While he's being mended, the others pull the express in his place, only to realise that Gordon's job is harder than it looks, and maybe he does indeed deserve the respect he wanted. They also realise that they were wrong to tease him for his firebox. At the end of the day, both parties were simultaneously right and wrong. The engines were wrong to tease Gordon, but were right to not give in to his demands. However, Gordon does indeed work very hard, and that should not be ignored. At the end of the episode, everyone levels the playing field, and they all end up making amends. You may be able to run a marathon in your own shoes, but try running a mile in someone else's, and you'll see that they don't have it so easy. Respect for Gordon is without a doubt my favourite episode of the Hit Era, and one of the finest episodes in the entire show. Well, that's it for my list. If you guys think that I missed any episodes that should be on it, then feel free to let me know down in the comments. What are some mature Thomas episodes that you enjoy? As always, I hope that you all enjoyed this one. If you did and want to see more, then be sure to stick around as I have plenty more in the works. Now until next time, I've been Sinners and Ashes UK, You've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!